you ever wondered how modern technology is influenced by the works of mathematicians from the past? What if we told you that Stanislaw Ulam, a Polish-American mathematician, has left a significant mark on the technology we use today? Ulam's contributions span several fields, mathematics, nuclear physics, and computer science. He played a pivotal role in the Manhattan Project, and his work alongside Edward Teller led to the Teller-Ulam design, the basis for all thermonuclear weapons. But his impact doesn't stop there. Ulam invented the Monte Carlo method of computation, a statistical approach used extensively in fields as varied as physics, finance, and computer graphics. He also proposed the concept of nuclear pulse propulsion, a theoretical method of spacecraft propulsion. Ulam's work stretches far and wide, influencing many areas of our modern world. But who was this man? Let's delve into his life. Stanislaw Ulam was born into a wealthy Polish Jewish family. His journey in mathematics began at the Luau Polytechnic Institute. As a young man, Ulam displayed an extraordinary aptitude for numbers and problem solving, which he honed under the tutelage of noted mathematicians Kazimierz Kuratowski and Lodzimierz Stodzek. In 1933, he accomplished a significant milestone, earning his PhD from the prestigious institute. Two years later, an opportunity of a lifetime came knocking when Ulam received an invitation from John von Neumann, a mathematician he'd met in Warsaw. Von Neumann invited him to the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. This was a chance to rub shoulders with the best minds in the field, and Ulam grabbed it with both hands. His journey continued at Harvard University, where he spent academic years from 1936 to 1939 establishing important results in ergodic theory. In 1939, Ulam sailed for the United States for the last time, marking a significant turn in his life and career. In 1943, Ulam received an invitation that would change his life and the world forever. He was asked to join the Manhattan Project at the secret Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico. It was here that Ulam was tasked with a challenging problem, predicting the behavior of explosive lenses for an implosion-type weapon. This work was critical to the development of nuclear weapons, and Ulam's mathematical genius proved invaluable. Ulam was then assigned to Edward Teller's group, where he was asked to work on Teller's super bomb. But Ulam, with his keen eye for detail, noticed something. He found that Teller's initial design for the bomb was unworkable, undeterred, Ulam began to look for a solution. He knew that the principles of mathematics could provide the answer, and he was right. In January 1951, Ulam and Teller formulated a new design. This design, known as the Teller-Ulam design, incorporated a novel staging mechanism for thermonuclear weapons. This design was revolutionary. It provided a method for creating a thermonuclear reaction, a reaction that was far more powerful than anything that had been seen before. The Teller-Ulam design became the blueprint for all future thermonuclear weapons, marking a significant turning point in the history of warfare. Ulam's work on the Teller-Ulam design became the basis for all thermonuclear weapons, forever changing the landscape of warfare. His work demonstrated the immense power of mathematics, not just as an abstract concept, but as a tool that could shape the world. Beyond his work on thermonuclear weapons, Ulam's contributions to other fields were equally impressive. He turned his attention to the stars, considering the fascinating problem of nuclear propulsion of rockets. His innovative ideas led to Project Orion, a pioneering venture that sought to harness the power of small nuclear explosions for propulsion. In collaboration with Enrico Fermi, John Pasta, and Mary Singu, Ulam explored the fermi pasta ulam singu problem, a mathematical conundrum that became the foundation for the field of nonlinear science. This area of study, which examines phenomena that change in unpredictable ways, is now instrumental in understanding complex systems such as weather patterns and financial markets. Yet perhaps one of Ulam's most enduring contributions was his realization that the advent of electronic computers opened up new possibilities for solving mathematical problems. He understood that these machines made it practical to apply statistical methods to functions without known solutions. This insight led to the birth of the Monte Carlo method, a statistical technique that uses random sampling to estimate numerical results. 
Today, the Monte Carlo method is a standard approach to many problems, finding application in fields as diverse as physics, engineering, and finance. Stanislaw Ulam's legacy continues to impact our world today, from the technology we use to our understanding of complex mathematical problems. His story is a testament to the far-reaching power of mathematics and the human mind. 